Singapore set. Unbelievable effort. Absolutely. Singapore boys, we absolutely love it. Come on, up the tag. Let's do it for the Singapore. So for a bit of context for this training session, it did not really go to plan. Um, obviously coming after work and whatnot, it's really really late. And there was also a game that was happening at the NUS field between NUS's team versus Hong Kong under-21s. So pretty much we just made the best of the situation we played on the grass pitch compared to how we normally would train on the turf. Uh, there was a game going on at the moment, so we just joined in for this early part of the session. So in the later part of the session, we obviously got some shooting in after the match just to really work on our technique and whatnot. And then to end off the session, we did some two-touch, really just trying to make the best of the session because obviously we can't use the turf at this point of time because there's a match going on. But we try to just, yeah, just get in as much quality and productivity into the session while with the sort of areas that we can work with. So yeah, pretty much that's how we ended off the session.
guys. Just want to preempt this training session a little bit. Pretty much was probably one of my worst shooting sessions I've had. I mean, you can see right off the bat, just completely skying the shot. Um, technique was all over the place. Just really not a good session for this whole week, really. Came after work and whatnot. And just really felt rushed throughout. And outside of this shooting, portion and whatnot, I put in pretty much almost all the shots um, for this training session because I really didn't have a lot of footage by the time I got to the pitch it was really 6.30 and pretty much everyone wanted to just get the session done by around 7.30 so felt, like I said, felt really rushed and didn't really get in a good proper warm up and my head was just, just felt really rushed for, for the most part so I did definitely not my best shooting session. I think I take about 14 shots in a row before I finally get one into the back of the net. And as you can see, these are all very, very low quality shots. Definitely not up to the standard that I want to hold myself to, but we move, these sort of sessions happen, and all you can do is just learn from it and adapt and find ways to get better, so yeah. Guess a bit of correction here. This is finally when I score my first goal of this training session. Cheeky little chip right there. Um, but yeah, pretty much this drill was actually recreating as a far side winger. So I mainly play on the left wing. So my right winger will cut it back to the edge of the box. I make that kind of run. And then I try to put it in the back of the net, either from a touch set up into a shot or shooting it first time and really just trying to replicate that game-like situation in, in a match and whatnot, so yeah. Today is the 14th of July 2023, the time now is 9.39pm Getting ready to do my acceleration and change of direction session As you can see right behind me, my brother is joining in with my training But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna be doing 
acceleration and change of direction session today. Trying to pretty much get back on track. Things have been really busy this week, but yeah, I'm gonna put in this work and see how it goes. So yeah, let's go. Training session done, the time now is 10.58pm Working on that change of direction acceleration as you can see from the earlier clips that we worked on our form Making sure our technique is right before we can work on our speed We're Gonna head back home, jump in the shower, get some rest It's been a long week, so yeah, let's go Time now is 5.31 p.m. Gonna get in my second session of the day. Pretty much just light plyometrics and whatnot as the main focus. Gonna put in this work, have a good session, and then after that, later, I'm going for my brother's game uh, tonight. So yeah, let's go. Training session done, the time now is 6.24pm Very very good light session and whatnot to end off my double session for today Right now I'm gonna head upstairs, jump in the shower, get something quick to eat And then head over to Woodland Stadium for my brother's game So yeah, let's go So Myron, will there be an answer to the question that's been on everybody's minds? Will you be signing for any SFL team during this mid-transfer window for the second half of the season? Well, after serious considerations, you know, trialling with two different teams and taking everything in consideration, I'll be taking my talents for the second half of the season to no one. Okay, so I want to quickly address the whole... That was a bit of a skit right there. Um, but I'm going to quickly address what happened and whatnot. So, obviously, during this particular week, on the Wednesday, I actually did go over to Topaz Stadium to go and trial with Project Vaults, or PV. And the other team that I've been trialling for was Admiral TCSN, which is the SFL2 team. They took a very long time to decide, and I opted that it wasn't the best decision. For me to go with Admiralty so I opted to put basically my last ditch attempt of playing for an SFL team with Project Vaults went for the training session on Wednesday it actually went really well I was playing at left wing back session went fantastic I even scored a goal from left wing back and overall I felt like the, the performance from myself I just played with a lot of freedom had fun 
throughout the session and it was good. The head coach talked to me and my brother after the session. They, he liked what we both offered to the table. Especially the fact that even though I've never played as a wing back before, I was able to adapt and play that role pretty well. But they had already signed another five more players and filled up the squad. So it is what it is. Today is the 23rd of July. So I have about less than a month before I head over to Spain to go and play for Alicante City FC. So right now the main focus for me is just my own individual training, working on the speed program still, and playing Sunday League football to get in some match fitness and whatnot. So yes, it's not definitely not the plan that I wanted when I first came back to Singapore, you know, in preparations to go over to Spain, but it's part of life. It happened for a reason. I wasn't meant to play for SFL team this time around. So, like I said, I'm already accepted the fact that that's the reality. And instead of sulking and being upset about it, I've obviously been very grateful for the opportunities I've been given from both clubs. And, you know, we'll never know in the future. But for now, moving forward, I'm just happy that, you know, all that stuff is done. And I hope that you guys have been supporting me and watching me all the way through. Uh, this is, I hope that you're not too disappointed with it, but that's just how it is. Things didn't work out the way that, that I had hoped or I, I had envisioned previously, but it is what it is. So yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. Thank you very much. If you watch this video all the way through, please like, comment, and subscribe. Do share it with your friends if you really enjoyed it. But yeah, that's all from me. Cue the outro. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over oh, until no! I win. What a goal! And what a time! And what a place! What a play! Drops. Done. Happy with us.